you are watching Bushlink TV. Keep watching. What's up, Bushlinkers? I am here at Comic-Con, and all around me are people dressed to the nines. People who put time and money into these costumes, and I don't want that to go unrewarded. So I'm going to go out, and I'm going to find our Mr. Comic-Con 2008. Who's the biggest nerd here? Let's go find him. What are you dressed up as? Uh, TIE Fighter. TIE Fighter? Oh, uh, my costume, just uh, different colors for uh, the Spider-Man suit. Clearly, you are the Joker. Obviously. He's ready to know. I'm just here to spread those from Devil May Cry 3. Nice. So, how big of a Devil May Cry fan are you? Very big fan. How big of a Ghostbusters fan do you say you are? Um, well, let's see, there's uh, liking the film, loving the film, uh, Trekkies, and then our devotion. How much did you put, say you put into your Star Wars collection? Oh, $50,000. $50,000. Wow, you were the front runner right now as far as money spent. What would you say your collection of the comic books, video games, all that stuff, how much money do you think you put into that? The cars, I, I probably probably could have bought my first house. <laughs> oh, honestly, at least several thousand. However, this costume was one of the cheaper ones. Probably a good 7000 at least. How long did it take you to make this costume? Um, what about two and a half years? How much money did you put into that? Probably about uh, thirty-five to four thousand dollars. Maybe five thousand for the time, energy, travel, going and finding the pieces, talking to people, networking, and everything. So, what do you do to support your habit of Star Wars collecting? The ship builder. That's that's rustic work, man. That's kind of fine work right now. So, do you, do you live in your mother's or your sister's basement? No, no, I'm by myself. <laughs> what are your feelings about the Dark Knight? Have you any time you've seen it? I only seen it once. Actually. I saw it the night before I came here. I think it was a little overhyped. Like, don't get me wrong, I loved the movie to death. Loved it. Heath Ledger was amazing. What do you do for a living? What sports do you have? Basically, my part-time job at the Taco Bell. The biggest nerd thing I do would probably be dressing up like this to go to my work. I'm never officially like this, but in other comic book clothing and Star Wars and whatnot, um, to get the kids animated to learn and animated to get know what's going on, and that's one of the biggest nerd things I do. The nerdiest thing about you, what would it be? I'm a Trekkie. Your house catches on fire. You say, you know, your family members, everything's fine. What do you grab first out of your home? I mean, I can buy a new jumpsuit. This thing, that's $3,000 hanging off my back. I mean, and I spent, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. It's like a decent car that you restore, you know? It's, you love it. It's like a child. Hours upon hours upon hours watching the movie, frame by frame, checking everything out, interviews, networking from every Ghostbuster across the U.S., comparing information, going to Planet Hollywood, looking at the God Packs, seeing what they use in the film. I've met Jason Reitman. I've asked questions to him. No Ernie Hudson. I actually broke up my girlfriend three days ago because I'm coming to this and she didn't want me to. She's like, it's the con or me, and I'm like, oh, bye. This jumpsuit is a prime example. They never wore black in the first movie, but this is the exact make and model of the jumpsuit from the first movie. You left your girlfriend, you said f*** you to your boss, <laughs> you built this thing from scratch, and apparently you are the biggest Ghostbusters fan maybe in the world. Now plus, this uh, trap, the proton pack, inside is lined with Kevlar, so it will stop them. You know what? Mr. Comic-Con 2008, ladies and gentlemen, Maverick. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, man. Can we get a good, we get a good cackle? A good cackle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs>